welcome to ms ms class today we'll discuss the new topics the lines and angles okay the lines and angles of class 9 some basic concepts we have to discuss first one is collinear points what is collinear points three or more points are said to be collinear if there is a line which contains all of them suppose we are taking three or more points in this are three or more points if all the points are lies on the same line these are points are taking then these points are collinear points but if we take in this way and uh, one line is drawn this point is out of the line so these are not collinear points these are collinear points okay next is if a and b are two points a and b are two points on a line then the part of the line with n points a and b with the n points a and b is called the line segment it is called the line segment suppose if this is a line this is a line and this is a part this point a this point b this part ab is called the line segment this part is called the line segment okay next is intersecting lines what is intersecting lines two lines are intersecting if they have a common point what they have the common point and common point is called point of intersection two lines are there this is one line this is another line and they have a common point this is a point p p is called point of intersection or in this way also you can say whatever it is two lines are intersecting and they have the common points the point common point is called point of intersection okay next concurrent lines what is concurrent lines three or more lines intersecting at the same point three or more lines they are intersecting at the same points these are these lines are called concurrent lines okay are said to be concurrent or so in what number of lines we can draw th passing through a points this points this lines are called concurrent lines okay the next is angle what is angle the common things angle what is angle An angle is formed by two rays with a common point common initial point by two rays with a common suppose this is a point from here one ray is forming another ray is forming suppose this o this is a this is b o a and o a and o b are two rays with the same point with a common point a this form an angle okay these two are called arms these two are called arms of the angle arms of the angle and this this point the common point is called vertex the common point is known as vertex o is the vertex in this case okay clear next point c what is the next point two concurrent angles have the same measures two concurrent uh, congruent not concurrent two congruent angles have the same measures so who has the same measures two congruent angles have the same measures okay conversely two angles have the same equal measures are called congruent suppose this is angle this angle p and this is angle q if the measures are same if this is 30 degree this is also 30 degree then p and q are congruent p and q are congruent so two angles with the same measures are called congruent to each other next is acute angle what is acute angle an angle whose measure is less than 90 degree whose measure is less than 90 degree okay 90 degree this angle is 90 degree this is 90 degree less than 90 degree so whatever the angles this is acute angle this angle is called acute angle this angle is called acute angle then right angle the 90 degree angles is known as this known as right angle right angle that measure is 90 degree then obtuse angle more than 90 degree obtuse more than 90 degree this more than 90 this is 90 degree 
it is more than 90 this angle is called obtuse angle obtuse angle then a straight angle measure is 180 degree this measure is 180 degree this is a straight angle okay reflex angle more than 180 this is 180 more than 180 this is called reflex angle reflex angle this angle is known as reflex angle okay then a straight angle reflex angle then complete angle complete angle is 360 degree so this is the point with this 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 line is rotated completely this is called 360 degree so angle at the point is 360 degree and this is called complete angle angle at oh complete angle next is complementary angles so what is the complementary angles two angles are said to be complementary to each other if the sum is 90 degree suppose angle a is 30 degree and angle c b is 60 degree 60 degree and sum a plus b is equal to what we are getting 90 degree then they are called complementary to each other complementary angles these angles are called complementary angles sometimes the questions may be asked what is the complementary angles of 20 degree the answer will be 70 degree because 20 plus 70 is 90 what is the complementary angles of 35 degree the complementary angles of 35 degree is what 55 degree the sum is 90 degree what is the complementary angle is itself whose complementary angle is itself the question may be asked in this way whose complementary angle is itself that is 45 degree 45 plus 45 is 90 degree okay this way you have to keep next supplementary angles what is supplementary angles two angles are said to be supplementary two angles are said to be supplementary okay when they are said to be supplementary if the sum of their measures is 180 degree sum of the measures is 180 degree okay suppose a is angle a is how much uh, 40 degree and angle b is 140 degree then a plus b is equal to how much 180 degree then they are called supplementary angles supplementary angles so what is the supplementary of 120 degree 60 degree because 120 and 60 if we add them then we will get 180 degree so they are supplementary to each other adjacent angles adjacent angles means two angles having the having a common vertex condition c having a common vertex and a common arm are called adjacent angles if their uncommon arms are so an angle has two arms and a common vertex but adjacent angles have common common vertex common vertex and they have the common arm also this is the common arm this arm is common this arm is common okay this is the common arm and these two are on the other sides of the common arm these angles are called adjacent angles these angles are called adjacent angles okay particle opposite angles particularly opposite angles two angles are said to be vertical opposite angles if their arms are on the either side of the common arm or you can say if two lines intersect each other then vertical opposite angles are formed and they are equal this is two lines here first things two angles are said to be vertical opposite angles if the arms are on the other side of the common arm this is the common arm okay so these two angles these two are vertical opposite angle also you can say and these are also vertical opposite angle we can say these two are also vertical opposite angles are say and the vertical opposite angles are equal okay next if a ray stands on a line then the sum of two adjacent angles if a ray stands on a line then sum of two adjacent angles so formed is 180 degree if a ray stands on a line this is a line and a ray is stand on here 
then whatever the angles we are getting these two adjacent angles they, because this ray is the common and these two are on the other sides of the common ray okay then this 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 angle so what is the angle complete angle is 180 degree that is called 180 degree okay and in this case the angles are called these two angles are called linear pair angles linear pair angles so what you can say if the sum of two adjacent angles is 180 degree the angles are linear pair angles okay next point last point if the sum of two adjacent angles is 180 degree then the non common arms of the angles form a line same thing non common arms this is one adjacent angles another adjacent angle is this this is a common arm this non common arms this is oa ob oc these two adjacent angles 180 degree okay then non common arms what oa and ob they are what then the non common arms of the angles form a line that ab is a line okay these two forms in a line so these are the basic concepts you have to keep in mind regarding the lines and angles and these are related to chapter 6.1 okay in the next class we will discuss the problem of exercise 6.1 thank you have a nice day